Hello friends, welcome to Easy Homemade Projects. In today's video, I will show you how to make a simple Arduino development board. This board will help you to learn the Arduino easily and also it will help you to reduce the wiring connections while doing experiments on new Arduino projects. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, where you can order 5 pieces of 10 by 10 cm PCB is just in $2. Nowadays you can avail their free assembly services. You have to pay PCB and component price, but the assembly service will be totally free. You can get more detail about PCB assembly service on this page. One more interesting thing is that now you can order 3D printed parts for your custom projects. Starting from just one US dollar. So you can get more detail about 3D printing and their technologies on this page. So guys after placing an order at JLC PCB, I got our PCBs within a few days as always. So let me open the box and show you our new PCBs. As you can see the build quality is perfect as always. So guys here are all the components that are required to complete our development board PCB. So first of all here are two terminal blocks, a power on off switch, a DC power jack, six tactile switches, two potentiometers, six 220 ohm resistors, a 5 volt voltage regulator with this heat sink, six blue color LEDs and a BC547 transistor, a 100 microfarad capacitor, a red color LED, a 12 volt buzzer, DAA2 power transistors, two stepper motor drivers, four 1 kilo ohm resistors and six 10 kilo ohm resistors. Here are some male and female header pins and this is our PCB. Now I am going to solder all these components to our new PCB. Okay guys our development board is now complete. 
Now let me tell you a little bit about the functionality of the board. Basically the purpose of this development board is to reduce the wiring connections while doing experiments on new projects. So for example if you want to use a button in your project, you will only need to connect a single wire from Arduino pin to the respective terminal of the button and uh, you will not need to connect the positive wire, you will not need to connect the negative wire and uh, similarly you will not need to connect the pull up register. So you can use the button by connecting a single wire to the Arduino. Similarly you can use all these 6 LEDs with these 6 pins and similarly if you want to use the stepper motor in your project you will need to connect the stepper motor driver here and uh, then you can connect your stepper motor here and then you can simply control the stepper motor by connecting the direction pin here and the step pin here. You can connect two simple DC motors here with these two terminals and uh, then you can control these two motors with the help of Arduino by connecting the Arduino pins with these two terminals M1 and M2. Similarly you can use these two potentiometers by connecting the Arduino pins with these terminals. These are all the ground pins and uh, here are all the 5 volt pins. So if you want to use any external sensor or component you can also provide 5 volt DC power supply from here. Here you can see a buzzer. You can also use this buzzer by connecting the Arduino pin with this buzzer terminal. Ok guys so now let me show you a few working examples of this development board. Here I wrote an example to control an LED with the help of a button. So when we will press the button the LED will light up for one second. Here you can see this is the LED pin and uh, this is the button pin. We will only need to connect these two Arduino pins to the development board and uh, we will not need to connect the positive negative wires and similarly we will not need to connect the pull up resistor for the button and the current limiting resistor for the LED. Let me show you. Here I have connected our development board with a DC 12 volt power supply source and uh, here are few jumper wires. So now first of all we will need to connect the Arduino ground pin to the development board ground pin to balance the reference voltages. And now we will connect the LED pin and now the button pin. As you can see here the LED is lighting up for one second when I press the button. Here is another example to control the simple DC motor speed with the help of potentiometer. So here are only two pins. This one is potentiometer pin and uh, this one is motor pin. We will not need to connect the power transistors. We will not need to make the potentiometer connections. All these features are built in in development board. So now let me show you. Here I have connected a simple DC motor. So the potentiometer wire will be connected with A0. And the motor wire will be connected with digital pin 3. As you can see, we are controlling the speed of motor with the help of this potentiometer. You can see the wiring is very simple with the help of this development board. Here is another example to control the stepper motor with the help of two buttons. As you can see here only four Arduino pins are used. So we will only need to connect these four pin wires to the development board. One button will be used to start the motor and the other button will be used to stop the motor. So here I have connected this NEMA 17 stepper motor and uh, as you can see only 4 wires are connected. This one is direction wire, step wire and these two wires are button wires. So now let me start and stop the motor. This is stop button and this is start button.
as you can see how simple the wiring connections are so guys that's it for our development board project i hope you will like my this development board and it will really help you to learn the arduino easily share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe